The sun's powerful solar flares emphasize the fragile equilibrium that keeps life on Earth possible in addition to highlighting the magnificence of our sun. These monumental eruptions, each releasing energy akin to billions of atomic bombs, hide a secret that could revolutionize our understanding of the sun and its impact on space weather. Scientists have uncovered a groundbreaking feature common with the top five most intense solar flares ever recorded in history. What hidden secrets could these most intense solar flares reveal about the very nature of our sun? Prepare to be astonished as we reveal the mystery at the heart of this cosmic giant. Let's begin. When the strong magnetic fields within and surrounding the sun re-establish, flares occur. They are typically connected to areas of high magnetic field activity, which are frequently referred to as sunspots. Flares are categorized based on how strong they are. B-class is the smallest, followed by C, M and X, which is the largest. Like the Richter scale for earthquakes, the energy production is represented by each letter with a tenfold increase. An X is therefore 100 times a C and 10 times an M. There is a finer scale from 1 to 9 for each letter class. C-class flares don't have enough power to have an impact on Earth. M-class flares have the potential to put astronauts in danger by causing small radiation storms and momentary radio blackouts at the poles. Despite being the final letter, X-class flares can exceed 9 since some flares have greater power than 10 times that of an X-1. During one of the most recent solar maximum in 2003, there was the strongest flare ever recorded. Its power overwhelmed the instruments that were measuring it. The flare was later judged to be around X-45, but they cut off around X-17. Such a strong X-class flare has the potential to produce protracted radiation storms that could damage satellites and possibly inflict minor radiation doses to passengers on airplanes traveling close to the poles. Moreover, X-flares have the capacity to cause global outages and transmission issues. The Sun has periods of enhanced and decreased activity during its 11-year solar cycle. When this activity peaks, solar flares and coronal mass ejections CMEs, which are explosions of radiation and solar particles that shoot off of the Sun's surface, can occasionally cause catastrophic damage if our planet is in the path of the blast. Some of the most noteworthy examples of this happening and the consequences are listed in the list below. In order to better understand and predict solar activity and prevent future problems similar to these, no AA researches the Sun. 1. The Carrington Event, 1859 As of right now, the strongest solar flare ever observed by humans is the Carrington Event, named in honour of British astronomer Richard Carrington, who discovered the dazzlingly bright areas on the solar surface just before a powerful solar storm struck Earth. Not only was this event renowned for its strength, but it also created auroras that were so beautiful they could be seen all the way down to the Caribbean. Unique features and impacts. Extreme brightness. A unusual event for solar flares, the flare that Richard Carrington and Richard Hodgson saw was incredibly bright and visible to the unaided eye. It was a first for this direct sighting of a solar flare. Rapid arrival of CME. Compared to typical CMEs, the coronal mass ejection CME, linked with the flare reaches Earth in around 17.6 hours. This prompt arrival signalled the beginning of an extraordinarily strong and swift solar outburst. Global auroras. The storm created auroras that could be seen all around the world, even in tropical areas like the Caribbean and Hawaii. In certain places, the brightness of these auroras was mistaken for daylight. Telegraph system disruptions. At the time, the telegraph system served as the main means of long-distance communication. The storm significantly affected it. Electric shocks were given to telegraph operators, telegraph paper caught fire, and induced currents caused certain systems to keep running even after they were cut off from their power sources. 2. July 1967 Solar Storm Triggered the height of an international Cold War. This violent solar storm nearly sent the United States and the United Kingdom to war when a flare blocked many radar and radio communication systems in polar regions. The US Air Force started preparing planes for combat, believing it was the Soviet Union's fault. Fortunately, military space weather experts intervened just in time to demonstrate that solar activity was the cause. Unique features and impacts, intense radio blackouts. It caused significant radio blackouts across North America and other parts of the world. Both military and civilian communications were impacted by the radio blackout, which hampered high-frequency communication channels. Impact on NORAD 
The incident seriously interfered with the operations of the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD. Due to interference with radar systems, it resulted in false alarms of missile launches, exposing weaknesses in national defense systems. Solar particle events. Strong solar particle events, such as the discharge of high-energy protons, were linked to the flare and may have endangered satellites and astronauts. 3. The August 1972 solar flare. Between the Apollo 16 and 17 missions, in August 1972, there was a solar flare that had an impact on both Earth and the Moon. Even if it wasn't the strongest, the Cold War era's timing and technological environment had a significant impact. This flare created a fast-moving CME and a notable proton event. NASA claims that solar activity caused television images to repeatedly break up, which in turn caused massive solar flares. Unique features and impacts, speed and intensity. One of the quickest coronal mass ejections, CMEs, ever observed, the accompanying CME arrived at Earth in a mere 14.6 hours. This quick arrival time brought attention to the possibility of extremely little warning periods in the case of a future incident of this kind. Geomagnetic storm. The solar flare set off a significant geomagnetic storm that severely disrupted navigation and communication networks especially impacting military operations in Vietnam. Strong auroras were created by the storm, which were visible at far lower latitudes than usual. Damage to satellites and spacecraft. A number of satellites suffered problems in solar panel degradation as a result of the storm. This incident demonstrated how susceptible space-based resources are to solar activity. Power grid disturbances. While not as bad as later storms, the storm nevertheless led to transformer failures and voltage anomalies in power networks, emphasizing the need for stronger defenses against geomagnetic disturbances. 4. The March 10, 1989 Geomagnetic Storm The March 1989 geomagnetic storm, which was sparked by an X-15-class solar flare, is notorious for triggering a nine-hour blackout in Quebec, Canada. When the related CME from the flare reached Earth, it produced a powerful geomagnetic storm, shortwave radio interference and jammed signals from Radio Free Europe, an American government-funded organization that carries uncensored news and information to listeners in nations where it is prohibited by law, were caused by the sun's eruption and the accompanying flare. Some even believed that the Kremlin had jammed the signals. Unique features and impacts. Geomagnetic-induced currents, GICs. The storm produced powerful GICs that interfered with power networks, highlighting the susceptibility of electrical grids to space weather phenomena. This demonstrated how important it is to safeguard and keep an eye on power infrastructures. Satellite malfunctions. A number of satellites were impacted by the storm, which resulted in both transient and, in certain situations, permanent damage. This emphasized how crucial it is to protect space-based technologies against space weather. Disruptions to communications. There was a major disruption to GPS signals and high-frequency radio communications, which affected military, aviation, and marine operations. This demonstrated how many different technologies are affected by solar activity. Five, the July 23, 2012 solar superstorm, or the Carrington-class CME, NASA's Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, Stereo A spacecraft, which orbits the Sun, was struck by a massive CME. Earth would have been in the path of the eruption if it had happened a week earlier, according to data gathered by the Stereo spacecraft, which was designed to resist such occurrences. According to University of Colorado's Daniel Baker, if it had hit, we would still be picking up the pieces, a 2014 NASA statement stated. In addition, this statement conjectured that a hurricane of comparable size may have a disastrous impact on Earth today, costing the economy more than $2 trillion or 20 times more than Hurricane Katrina's damages. Reason is that we rely on technology today far more than we did in the 1850s, in contrast to the Carrington event. Unique features and impacts near Miss of Earth. The fact that it barely missed Earth was one of the most important features. As galaxy measurements go, it was a near miss to planet Earth. And as late ABC's Lama Hassan reports, scientists didn't even see it coming until just last week. Had it struck, it might have produced global disturbances comparable to the Carrington event of 1859, the strongest known geomagnetic storm, magnitude and velocity. 
this solar flare's coronal mass ejection, CME, traveled at a remarkable 3,000 kilometers per second. One of the quickest CMEs ever observed is this one. Potential impact. If it had hit Earth, it might have generated severe geomagnetic storms that might have damaged satellites, interfered with GPS and communication systems, and caused extensive power outages. Finally, scientists are in awe of a unique pointer revealed as they study these most intense solar flares ever recorded in history. The demonstration of the unpredictable potentials in the nature of our Sun. Its amazing might and unforeseen potential influence on Earth has called for better preparation through deeper research and further investigation of the historical relevance via recent advancements in solar physics might provide us with fresh perspectives on the behavior of the sun. As we gaze upon the sun's immense might and unpredictable nature, we can't help but wonder, are we ready for the next massive solar event? Can such powerful cosmic forces be overcome by human technology? Kindly like, share and subscribe if you find this video interesting. Also remember to press the notification bell for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.